and you'll do amazing so I wouldn't worry about it my day's been very good thank you how's your day been oh Shannon you're a sweetheart Mwah. you're so kind exactly everyone listen to Liam I've achieved a few things but I can never be happy with myself why because if you've achieved something you need to give yourself a lot of credit. I feel like quite a lot of people are very harsh on themselves as well. Like, I find that, it, let's say, someone got a B in their exam, um, and the last, ex the previous exam before that, they had, like, a C. Like, I'm saying, I'm, my brain's in, like, A-level terms for some reason. I haven't done A-levels in, like, a year, but my, my brain's still in A-levels. Um, but they'd still be hard on themselves. They'd be like, oh, I wanted an A it's good to be hard on yourself because it preps you and makes you have motivation for the next time you do something but also you need to be kind to yourself because without like the kindness behind the motivation you're not going to go as far as you would like so always be kind to yourself whether whenever you, uh, whether you're revising or you're at work or you're doing this that and the other always be kind to yourself because you are going to be the one doing those exams, um, passing those tests, doing that driving test, whatever you're doing, you're the one doing it, nobody else. So treat yourself like you would your best friend. So if your best friend or a family member was struggling, um, you'd give them the same advice to be kind to themselves, to relax and do this, that and the other and treat themselves use that advice on yourself because you are your own best friend you you are going to be with yourself forever so be kind be kind to you oh thank you for joining pip Mwah. i literally got a four in maths mocks but need a nine in gcse do you know what I was the exact same in my maths when I was in year 11. I used to get fours and fives and I wanted a seven. I wanted a seven. And I spoke to my year, like, year group tutor um, for some help. I spoke to my maths teacher who'd gotten me in contact with the most amazing tutor um, and passed me on to some really good links and spent like some breaks and lunch times with me going one to one and I could not be more thankful for her because she helped so so much so if I were you go to your teachers for those uh, for the extra support um, and all, the thing is all you can do is the best you can like if if you get a six or a seven still amazing if you get a four or five still amazing even a two three still amazing it's okay the world will still turn if you get a six or a seven or wait i'm so sorry did you say you needed a a nine yeah but the world will still turn uh you'll still wake up tomorrow i promise you the teachers make out like exams are going to determine you for the rest of your life you can still go far with little to no gcse's you can so be kind to yourself just make sure you take the time to treat yourself like have a day shopping or have a self-care day because those days will come in handy when you revise because it will give you that extra push whereas if you're revising 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 when it comes to your exams you'll burn out and you won't be able to retain any more knowledge or be able to put down that knowledge um so yeah I know Amelia I know Amelia this girl kicked off with me in home bargains for not getting a free candle and a face mask what is she she's someone that works there what the hell you should get into politics I couldn't there's too much going on in politics. It's too much going on. Oh, Amelia, you're so kind, sweetheart. Thank you. It's very kind. It's very, very kind. Thank you. You're very kind. But anyways, on that note, that lovely little note, I'm going to love and leave you guys. Um, 
I don't want to get told off for having a shower too late. Um, but I will let you guys know how my first day at uni went tomorrow. I won't be back home until later on in the evening because I won't be finished until late in the afternoon, like early evening. And I've got the commute on top of that. So I'll let you know how tomorrow goes. Uh, I'll probably go live a lot earlier than this, but if you've enjoyed my live, please follow. Um, and I will let you know how it all goes. I'm really, really nervous. <laughs> I'm so, so nervous, but I just know quite a lot of the other people are in the same boat as me, so it's okay. It's okay. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much. You're all so kind. I adore you guys. Thank you so much for joining. And it was lovely answering your comments and you guys just being here. So I'll see you guys tomorrow and I will let you know how it goes. Fingers crossed. I hope you all have a lovely evening or morning, depending on where you are. 